So from what I understand, this game is about this young woman who gets turned into a vampire and you have to like decide whether you want to embrace your vampiric side or to like mingle amongst uh, humans and uh, of the, the high society. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, let me just check. I haven't muted the audio. Nope. Oh, I like that. Flashy. Oh, it's not loading for you, is it, chat? Okay. Let me try a different approach. It really doesn't want to capture this game. It's not it's not the game's fault. It's it's OBS being fussy, I think. Eastern Europe, end of the 19th century. Thank you all for coming here today to say goodbye to my Lisa. I never thought I would bury my own daughter, my own blood, my pride, yet. Are those stats? <laughs> I... I can't do this. Go, please say something. I, I just can't. There, there. It's all right. <sighs> what can I say about someone dying so young? Particularly, someone as special as Lisa. If I may, I won't dwell on the circumstances of her tragic death today. Instead, I'd like us to celebrate her life, despite her obvious calling for medicine. When she was little, I always thought she would become... They are! <laughs> a musician, a writer, a doctor, a politician. Alright, let's be a politician. Because I'm, I'm thinking meta about this. What's going to be the best for stats? And like, this is going to be good for like diplomacy and like communication. That That's my understanding. A big name politician. History and politics. You're going to laugh. But little Lisa solved home disputes better than any court judge. She got out of all kinds of trouble too. Even if we knew she stole a cookie, no one could ever prove it. Such a bright girl. Always a top student, always the pride of her mo parents. By the time she graduated, thirst for written words, scientific mind. Lisa knew everything there was to learn from books about science in our enlightened age. Laws of physics, human anatomy, chemical solutions, you name it. Every time she went on about this scientist or that discovery, she'd light up like a matchstick. Most of the time I couldn't understand a word of it, but I just nodded along and mused at how bright our girl was. I can't tell you how proud we all were when she was accepted at the medical academy. I had no doubt that she was destined for greatness, but to become a doctor, one of the first women to achieve that in the whole country. If someone deserved that honor, it was our Lisa. But my niece was so much more than a gifted student. A passionized, a true friend. Mm, let's go with true friend. With all of her other talents, above everything else, she was a true and loyal friend. She connected with people easily. She cared deeply about them. Some might even say too much. After all, if she wasn't so thoughtful, maybe she would still be with us. But I digress. Please forgive me. What's done is done. <clears throat> she was my favorite niece. Let us raise a glass to her. Pour some vodka for Korda too. He is old enough to send his sister off. A piece of my soul went into the ground with her today. As I'm sure did many of yours. Let those pieces help Lisa, wherever she is now. To Lisa. To me. I like my stats, though, I'll tell you that. We got 10 in, like, politics and 5 in science. Quite happy about that. 
be stunning and intelligent vampire. Because I'm sick of all these vampires that are like, oh, woe is me. Oh, I was like, shut up. <laughs> Stop complaining. When I was a little girl, I often had trouble falling asleep. My mother used to sing me this lullaby to comfort me. Tonight, I slept deeper than I had in my entire life. I had a disturbing dream that a string was coming out of my mouth. When I started pulling it, I realized that it came from all the way down my throat, buried somewhere deep in my body. I kept pulling, but I couldn't go too quickly for fear of burning myself with friction. Finally, the whole string was out. I felt relieved, but also strangely empty. I realized that I was in my bed, with my mother sitting beside me, crying. I didn't know why she was in tears, but I knew it was my fault. Dusk. It looks like we're quite thirsty as well. Dear Lord. Mom? Cola? Oh, yeah. My body feels like it's stuffed with cotton. Like I slept for days. Probably because you did. I can't see further with my own fingers. I should take the lamp with me. I thought vampires could see in the dark. Has this got controller support by any chance? Old kerosene lamp, someone left in the room. Hmm, I'm not sure about the controller support. So I'll just leave that to one side. The cupboard is locked. Why would anyone keep something of value in a place like this? Either this is a nightmare, or I am in hell. This feels too real to be a dream. Nothing over here. No secrets. My medical journal from the academy, and my family medallion. Who could have brought this here? Handcrafted sterling silver medallion passed on to Lisa by father. Tab to open the journal, and tasks. Oh, so we have like... Side quests as well, I guess. So this is good and bad. I did you in rank one. Calendar. Interesting. Relationships. This is very interesting. It seems like there's a lot more to this than I anticipated. Locked. Call for help. Walk away. Hello? Anyone? I guess we'll just walk away. Hello? Who is this? I'm locked inside. Please help. Are you, Are still, you still there? there? Suggest Maybe signs. Maybe you can't talk? Please knock twice for yes. And once for no. Thank goodness. Can you, Can help, you me? help me open the door? Thank you. Thank you so much. Will you Will help me? Will you help me? That was a... A no, right? <laughs> what do you what want? What is it that you want from me? Money? Treatment? Favor? You want a favor? I don't have much, but I can owe you a favor? And it's settled. Whoever you are, do you hear me? If you open this door, I, Elisaveta Morozova, will be in your debt. Ah! 
Tails in pain. What the hell is this? My shoulder just felt like it was burning up. I can't see anything from this angle. I should check up on it later. Lilies of the Valley. My favorite flower. Who put them in this room? It's disturbing to see them here. It's open. No one. What have I gotten myself into? Escape the chamber. Oh, we've got skill points. Character sheet. Ending experience points increases your rank, allowing you to upgrade your skills. Press plus and minus next to a skill you'd like to modify. Once you've finished distributing all the points, press accept change. Okay, so... Points available five. Writing and literature? Yeah, let's put that up by five, yeah. Hi, Sonic! Hello? Can anybody hear me? Only the rats. What a peculiar painting. Study. Art 5. Examine the people. History 7. This must be from nearly 400 years ago. The family clearly belongs to the ruling class. Wealthy and powerful. I'm doing alright, Sonic. How are you doing? We're playing this demo. It's a, it's a timed demo. It smells like death here. Like in the academy when we left a cadaver out for too long. Only, it's much worse than that. There's someone's money in here. I could live on this for a week. Leave the money. Tempting, but I can't take what isn't mine. Lisa, morality is st still shaping. Certain choices will provide you with humanity or nihilism points. Some choices only become available to Lisa after she reaches certain levels. Oh, that's quite fun. The mirror is covered by a sheet. People only do that when someone dies. Mother explained that this is so the dead soul does not get lost and trapped inside. Silly superstition, of course. Remove the covers. You live in the age of science where there's no room for this nonsense. What is this? Where is my reflection? I can't see myself. It must be a trick mirror. It must be a trick, right? Couldn't possibly be. Yuri. Study the painting. Science 3. It's hard to say without seeing the face, but this dress. Could it be the same girl from the first painting? Oh, this is unbearable. I'm a doctor. I can get through this. I just need to look straight ahead. <sighs> Give me strength, no matter what is on the other side. What in heavens is all this? Chapter 1. Higher Society. I will make sense of all this later. Something is wrong. My head is spinning. I feel the floor slipping from under my feet. Would you look at her? How does one have the gall to show at the Countess's manor in such a filthy outfit? Well, it's young. She must be a nihilist. It's spreading all over the country. Miss, are you all right? Mind your own business, Petya. It's rude to stare at a lady. Sorry. I'm gonna kill him later. <laughs> no. I know it's not ideal, Countess Orlova, but I'm afraid there is not much we can do at this point. Of course now there bloody isn't. The right time to act was last week. I don't understand where this influx of product is coming from. It's undercutting our prices. Where were you when I... Who is this creature? Darling, you look like a little domovoy. 
Come, come over here. I don't bite. Hello? Introduce yourself. Apologize for interrupting. Hello. I'm terribly sorry for it. You must be the doctor's new apprentice. Look at you, poor thing. You must be fresh out of the ground. Excuse me? Ugh. Nobody must have actually inducted you. How typical. No surprise with the men around here. Hussar, why is she in such a state? She was not supposed to wake. I'd love to catch you up, dear, but sadly I have some urgent business to attend to. Thanks to this gentleman over here. <clears throat> Hussar, be a darling and show this young lady around when she's decent. As you wish, madam. If you'll excuse me, I'll go for a smoke on the balcony. You can find me there. You're excused. If I recall my first day correctly, your head must be killing you. Here, drink this. Thank you. <laughs> May I ask what this is? If you know too much, you'll grow old sooner. Trust me, it will lift your spirits. Drink from the glass. Mm. Whatever this is, it's beyond delicious. It's sweet and thick and tastes like cherry and wild strawberries. Thank you. I do feel a lot better all of a sudden. Now go change. We can't have you gallivanting around in those scrubs. There is a nice dress about your size in the cloakroom. Consider this my welcome gift. Thank you kindly, madam. Oh god, what was her name? Oh no, what was it? I've already forgotten what name was. Scott's over. Odin's over, all over. I think it's all over, right? Madame Orlova. You're welcome, child. Now off you go, change and mingle. Time is money. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> she likes me. Okay, so we can we can run a bit. Countess is right. I should get dressed before exploring. So I'm guessing we're all vampires here then. That's that's the bit. Have you heard? The Countess is sending me. Another cloth on a mirror. Something bad must have happened. I'm gonna take the cloth off to wash up. Wash up without them. Yeah, oh, take strange. the cloth off. This mirror doesn't work either. I'm wondering if we can use the mirror to suss out if somebody else is also a vampire. That should do it, hopefully. The Countess sure has excellent taste in literature. In other circumstances, I'd spend all day here reading. Well, all right then. Goodness, this must be the dress the Countess was talking about. Such an ornate Western style. It must cost a small fortune. I want nothing more than to change out of this horrible nightgown, but this is just too much. Evening dress. Oh. <laughs> it changes your stats. You can't see it behind my model, but it gives me another plus five in history and politics, which I, I quite like that. There's like purpose, mechanics it's behind perfect. it. Perfect. Fits like a glove. Talk with Hussar. Let's go. Why is he going evil though? I still don't know what's happening here. Or at least I hope I don't. But delaying the inevitable is just tying my stomach in knots. I need to find that young man and learn the truth. <laughs> Hi, Sig. There he is. Good evening, Hussar. Ah, there is our bell of the ball. Lisa, right? You actually don't look half bad when you're not covered in graveyard dirt. Graveyard dirt? Can't return the compliment. Graveyard dirt? First the Countess, now you? Why is everyone going on about funerals? Surely an educated lady like you must have put together who we are by now, haven't you? Vampires. Oh, I need lit eight. I, I can't I can't say vampires. I don't have enough literature. I don't want to guess. I'd rather not guess. Please, just tell me straight. 
Who are you? Simply, we are vampires. The mirror. Ah, we unlocked this option because we examined the mirror. Move on. Is this why I had no reflection in the mirror? If that's what you're concerned about, you look just fine. Am I dead? Does... does this mean I'm dead? Dead, alive, who the hell cares? Trust me, Lisa, you just won the lottery. I don't even remember how it happened. That actually does happen quite a bit. That memory usually comes back soon enough. Hi, Link. Defense mechanism, science five, say what? Must be some sort of a defense mechanism that suppresses a traumatic experience. Oh, my family? What about my family? When can I see them? I was worried you will ask me that. Technically, they think you are dead, and it is best for everyone if they keep thinking that. It's true, too. I can't just leave them like this. They have to know I'm all right. Look, I know this is too much for you to take in right now. Maybe that's a conversation we should revisit another time. I have so many questions. Uh, see, that's what I was afraid of. Theory is not my forte. I'm a proponent of learning by doing. Why don't you go talk the ears off some other guests while I finish smoking in peace? After that, I can show you what it's really like to be one of us. I suppose I can do that. Could you at least tell me a little bit about the people? The guests in there? Oh, come on. Where is your spirit of adventure? I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own. Countess won't be happy. History 10. Hmm. What is it? I wonder if the Countess would approve of you pushing your responsibilities off to a bunch of strangers. Well played. Fine. Let me think for a moment about our fun little group here. You've already met the Countess, so that's a big plot. Not everyone gets to do that in their first month, let alone first day. Who else would you like to know about? Lady with purple hair. Who is the intense lady with the purple hair? That's Elisa. She is quite important around here. I'd try to start out on the right foot with her if I were you. Woman in the what pink dress. What could you tell me about the woman in the pink dress? You must mean Arben. You know, they say she was born somewhere far to the east. That broad has been around forever. Probably has a tale or two to share. What about the young man who asked about my health? Who? Oh, you must mean Petya. He is just a human. Elisa brought him in for fun. He is such a card and has absolutely no clue. <laughs> that's fascinating. Oh, that's cruel. It's fascinating. A clueless young man surrounded by vultures. That's fascinating. Right? We gain some nihilism. I suppose that's everyone of note, really. Besides me, of course. Of course. All right. Thank you kindly. I'll be back soon enough. No rush, please. <laughs> Task completed. How's it going, Link? How's it going, Sig? Brad, thank you. Thank you for 25 months. Thank you, thank you. I do actually have a model right here with me. I always carry Matilda with me, just in case a good opportunity strikes. You never know. Look into her eyes. Doesn't she look alive to you? Like she's going to blink? <clears throat> yes. Well, um, apologies. Petya. Petya. We should probably go discuss some urgent business with the Countess. Oh, of course. Uh, in fact, I'd, I'd love to meet her as... <sighs> <laughs> I don't know how, but I can just sense that he is not one of us. Such a strange feeling. Attraction? No, but something very similar. He is most certainly human. Oh, hello. It's you, Lady in the Nightgown. How are you feeling? I was really worried. Much better. Thank you. I'm Lisa, by the way. Of course. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm Petya. It's a pleasure. You were the only one who seemed to care about my... 
my illness. Oh, nonsense. They are a lovely bunch around here, just all very busy. The third group I'm pitching my dolls to, and everyone keeps running off for urgent business. Matilda invitation. Did you say you're selling dolls? And making them, yes. I see you have one with you. May I take a look? Of course. Matilda here is my favorite. I'd love to get some honest feedback. Well, what do you think? Uh, beautiful, oh, sure. It's just lovely. Let's play nice. So detailed and human-like. She reminds me of the one I had when I was a little girl. That's exactly what I wanted to accomplish. Thank you. I knew someone here would appreciate it. I'm hoping to show her to the Countess. With her approval, the sky's the limit. You know, making toys is what I wanted to do since I was a little boy. My father always called this foolishness, among other things. That it's not manly work. I never managed to convince him otherwise. I'm sorry. That must have been tough. Well, here I am. Still at it. I do have a feeling that I'm onto something with Matilda. Just you wait. My gut tells me that tonight is going to bring something special. And it's never wrong. Invitation. How did you end up being invited here, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, that's all thanks to Elisa, the lovely young woman in the yellow dress. She saw me at the town market and saw some real potential in my work. She said that the people in the manor might be interested in seeing it, and you didn't have to ask me twice. I see. How is pitching going so far? I'll admit, it's a little slow, but the night is still young. You are an optimistic guy, aren't you, Petya? My mother used to say that my hope will be the death of me, but what's the point of living if you don't believe in people and yourself? You may be right about that. At least, I truly hope you are. Best of luck with everything, Petya. Hope everything works out with the Countess. Thank you, Lisa. You're very kind. Should we drain his blood? Th this is this is a a time a a time sensitive demo sig. Uh, it's available to like everybody on Steam. Hey, stop messing with the phonograph. It's not a toy. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Have you, you played the Countess's Cabernet? Honestly, I think this may have been the best one I ever tasted. I prefer to stick to clear drinks around here. If you really want to try some decent Cabernet, stop by my salon on the main street. Oh, that sounds like a challenge. I'll take you up on that offer. I like Arben's key earring. You play as a newly turned vampire, and it has like these role-playing elements which I'm really keen on. Uh, like you've got good, you, you've got like good and nihilism, or like good and bad, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you've got like levels, and you can level up your stats here. You got music, arts, literature, writing, science and logic, history and politics. Um, and what else you got? You've got side quests by the looks of it. I'm not 100% sure on that. A calendar. And uh, there's like relationships. So, when neutral with Petra, neutral, neutral. And your outfit will also affect your stats as well. So I really, I'm really keen on, on the, uh, the role-playing aspect of this. Hello. I don't think I've seen you around here before. I'm Arbin. I'm Lisa. Good evening to you, too. Hmm. You don't sound so sure. Is it really a good one for you? You're right. If I'm honest, it hasn't been the easiest night. Hmm, that's what I thought. My advice is always be honest, unless you absolutely can't be. In the end, it does make everyone feel better. That's a good piece of advice. Stick with me, lovely. I'm chock full of a- Countess's wine. I couldn't help but overhear that you are a wine expert? I dabble. I run a literary salon in town and serve drinks there. How exciting. All kinds of interesting people must come by. You'd be surprised, my dear, and mildly disappointed. I'd love for you to stop by one day. I'll treat you to a round of something nice. I'll make sure to visit. Since you're an expert, may I ask you about the wine that the Countess gave me? I I'll admit I found it delicious, but it wasn't really wine, was it? It was not. Cabernet was sort of our code word for blood so we don't shock any innocents 
and then we just got used to it. Funny how language works, isn't it? Yes. Funny. <laughs> yeah, funny. <laughs> Blood. Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's how Lisa was. <laughs> Arbin, I've only just been turned, and all of this is very new to me. May I trouble you for some advice? Hmm. I hope you don't mind me asking. But has someone in your family enjoyed wine a little too much? Ooh, my father. Yes, my father. Wine, vodka, anything he can drink, really. <laughs> you aren't clairvoyant, are you? Everyone becomes a little clairvoyant if they live long enough and pay attention. I saw you drinking that glass earlier, and I think you should be careful around it, my dear. Alcohol's my father's problem. It isn't mine. It's not just alcohol you should be concerned about. You can keep away from it if you want. Blood, however, you will now have to drink, whether you like it or not. Whether I like it or not. Demons are hereditary, my dear. Always remember that. Oh, wow. We're, we're an alcoholic vampire. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I should get going. Good luck. I have a feeling we'll see each other soon. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, skeleton. <laughs> Come on. Don't any of you cowards want to have any fun? Um, uh, my lady, with all due respect, Russian roulette just seems like, um, uh, too much fun for the night. Fine. Get lost, then. Be on your merry way. You knew that the second time I die would be of boredom. You want to play Russian Roulette? I'll play Russian Roulette. Now, would you look at this pretty picture? I could barely recognize you from... before. Where did you get this dress? It's a gift from the Countess. She is very generous. Huh. I thought it looked familiar. Name is Alisa, by the way. Lisa, it's a pleasure. Advice for new vampire, young man from earlier. Uh, let's say young man from earlier. May I ask who was the young man you talked with earlier? Who, Petya? Why, are you interested? Goodness, no. I was just making conversation. Don't be shy. We're not attached. Petya is human. I picked him up at the town market. He is a salesman. A ridiculously bad one at that. If you two are not an item, may I ask why did you invite him over? Because it was my turn. My turn to bring takeout! A turn for what? To spice up the eternity. <laughs> so, I've just been turned today. Congratulations. That must be quite shocking. Thrilling, even. I'm envious, really. Yes, thank you. I'm not quite sure how to process all this yet. What does one even do with this? Being dead? Drinking blood? Who knows what else? Same thing anyone around here does. Orgies! Masticating plain eternity day after day. I keep thinking about what we do in the shadows. <laughs> Spicing it up any way you can. Hence the Russian roulette. We're already dead, aren't we? What else is there to lose? Do you fancy around? Maybe some other time. Suit yourself. So, it's true what they say? Vampires live forever? <laughs> we exist forever. We don't live. But then again... Few do. Does this mean that we can't, uh, I mean, stop existing? Oh, sweetheart, there is nothing easier. Just stop drinking blood for a few days, fall from a high roof, or just step into the sunlight. I should probably be writing this all down. So, now that you have eternity on your side, do you consider your existence more valuable? Now you have a turning on side, do you consider your existence more valuable? 
Um, I mean, it's, it's about the same because, you know, it's still just as easy to die. No, of course not. Pulse or no pulse, life is just as valuable as it always was. I see. In that case... How would you compare the value of your new existence to, say, Petya's? See, now that's different. Mine is more valuable. Petya is more valuable. Equal? Mm, what do you think, chat? I'm feeling rather... <sighs> if I'm honest, I'd have to say mine. To think of how much I'd be able to accomplish now. Fair enough. Still... It's an interesting thought experiment, isn't it? Mm. Indeed. Move on. Excuse me. I think someone is calling for me. <laughs> this game's cool, man. I like this. <laughs> Return to Hussar. Let's go. Good timing. I just finished up. Yes, how lucky. Don't be snappy, Lisa. Smoking is an important routine for a soldier. Can't be interrupted. Which division? History 10. A soldier, huh? And which division were you in, exactly? <clears throat> we can talk about the divisions some other time, perhaps. So you want to be soldier who ran away. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? Basement, shoulder burn, other creatures. Basement. What is going on in the basement of the manor? It's absolutely terrifying down there. Oh yes, the basement. If I were you, I would just forget all about it. Excuse me? All I know is that Countess conducts her business and she doesn't enjoy people meddling in it. If it's so confidential, how come I ended up there in the first place? Minor oversight. You were supposed to be moved upstairs before you were up, but appears that you are an early riser. And whose oversight was it, may I ask? Let's not focus on casting blame, shall mm. we? I say all's well that ends well. Sure you do. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? Making excuses for yourself. Who ended up letting me out of the chamber? If I'm honest, I haven't the foggiest idea. I thought you knew. Well, I don't. And whoever it was gives me the goosebumps. On top of everything, I ended up promising them a favor and felt a bad burn on my shoulder right after that. Do you know what it could possibly be? Let me take a look. Oh, brother. What? What is it? Um, it could be nothing, really. No need to worry. Just make sure that you show this to the doctor when you see him. All right? All right. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? That's so weird. If vampires are real, does this mean other fairy tales are? You'll have to be more specific than that. Rusalkas? Damavoys? Ghosts? Yes. No. Yes. We'll spend all night here if we keep talking about flora and fauna. Say, chat, I am real. If you want my advice... Focus on yourself first. That always ends up working for me. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? I suppose that's it for the time being. Perfect. If you don't mind me asking, what do you make of all this? I take it you've done a couple laps around the ballroom. Learned a little more about what it's like to be one of us. Keep an open mind, Science 5. Well... I'm obviously still in shock, but... Yes? From a scientific perspective, I have to admit I'm curious. This is certainly a unique condition we are in. Oh, I'd love to learn more about it for my studies. I'm impressed. I can certainly see now why the doctor chose you as his apprentice. All right. Have you read Thunderstorm? No, I don't have literature, and... I'm not so sure. Well... Unlike Katarina in the play, you no longer need to wonder why people can't fly. How? How did you do that? By sheer will, Lisa. It's very simple. How are you even talking with me in such a state? That's yet another benefit of being one of us. We can project our thoughts into people's minds. 
I prefer it, really. I find normal speech kind of primitive. Why don't you do it all the time, then? I'd love to, but you don't want to get too used to it and scare a human by accident. Now, why don't you try it? Let's see what kind of bat you are. You've unlocked a new ability. Oh, let's have a look, see, chat. Bat shifting, turn into a bat. <laughs> Goodness. Kawaii. Isn't this a hoot? Come on, I'll show you around. No, this isn't a who. Owls say who, not bats, you fool. <laughs> bat indicator in the bottom left of the screen informs whether bat shifting is correct possible. A land while in bat shape, descend on the surface from above until the landing circle appears underneath you. Whoa, you're fast. <laughs> isn't this isn't this a scree oh, gallery? <laughs> Seems like you're catching on. Follow me. I, I can't believe I'm actually flying. Ah, oh, faster than you as All well. Let's talk about death. Don't you feel more alive than you ever have right now? Ah, uh, human shape, well, airborne. Oh, now I can do it. He's there. Shh. There. Look. If only I have three coins in my name, then I'd show him. Oh. They'd all see. The coins we could Is have taken what earlier. You to show me? We could have peasant? given to him. What I wanted to show you is how to use your new powers. Meet Trophim. He is the Countess's former serf, now custodian and coachman. Among other things, he makes sure no one goes in or out of here without her permission. Important man. Now, come with me. How is life, Trophim? My lord, is that you? Or the boy you gave me? Highest quality. Much obliged. I can see that. It's nearly empty already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough pleasantries. Watch this. What happened to him? Is he all right? He is fine. We call this enchantment. Enchantment? What does enchantment do, exactly? It makes people subscribe. It makes people tranquil. While they are in trance, they don't feel pain or have a clear memory of what happened. Like anesthesia? Is it like anesthesia? In a way. I bet you this fellow in the States who invented it is a vampire. You mean William Morton? Mm-hmm. I heard the doctor was toying with that idea before the discovery. He was not happy the Americans figured it out first. So they don't remember anything once they're enchanted? Not quite. They may not remember what happened, but they won't forget how you made them feel. Sounds like a subject for some awkward conversations. You don't know the half of it yet. You'll see. Uh, how do I enchant someone? So, how do I enchant someone? I don't know if I can whistle like you. Don't worry. Whistling is just for me. It's like a cure for the hiccups. Everybody has their own way. When you need it, it will come to you. Does this mean you can just come up to anybody and make them tranquil? In theory, but it's not quite that simple. Firstly, they have to like you. An important condition. Without it, the charm won't work. Secondly, you should only do it to humans. So it doesn't work on other vampires. I didn't say that. Hmm? There are rumors that the best of the best can indeed enchant their own kind. But I don't even know if the Countess has that kind of power. Besides, this would certainly not be considered ethical by our vampire brothers and sisters. I bet they wouldn't mind to have that power, though. Oh, without a doubt. Carry so on. why would you want to enchant someone? I thought you might ask that. There are two main reasons. One, people in a trance are easily suggestible. You can use that to influence their thoughts and opinions. 
Sounds unethical. Will they do anything I say? When you say influence their thoughts, does this mean they will do anything I say? Only within reason, of course, especially when you are a beginner. Impression is a delicate art and takes a lot of practice. That doesn't sound right. Well, I didn't say you have to do it, did I? Everyone lives with their own choices. Yeah. And what is the second reason? I think you already know. Oh, look, he's like gone full vampire. Nom. <laughs> what have you done? I just opened him up for you. Don't worry, he'll be just fine unless we bleed him dry. Come here. It's time for you to learn how to feed. I... I don't know if I'm ready. You're as ready as you'll ever be. How do I turn? Just relax and let your instincts take over. It will come naturally. A new ability. High power. Vampire form. <gasps> My mouth, it's, it's bleeding. Of course, I forgot to warn you, sorry. Don't worry, it's normal. That happens when your fangs are out for the first time. It will recover in a minute. His skin smells like wild berries. But not just the smell. The promise of warmth that draws you. The promise of being whole. I want to feel it on my teeth. In my body. No. I can't do this. I... I don't think I can do it. I'm sorry. All right. But if the Countess asks, promise you'll say that you've done it. I don't want to get in trouble because you chickened out. I promise. Remember, you have to learn to do it to survive. I better get back to my other errands. Don't want to get my tunic wet. Do you remember the way back? I do. Hussar? Thank you. Relationship 40. I guess we're already at level 40 with them. Thank you for your help. I had a rough day and it means a lot to me. <laughs> Don't mention it. I ended up having a decent time myself. I'll see you soon. I should get back to the manor and talk with the Countess. I'll process this all later. Where will I live? What's next? There's so much I have to sort out first. But first... Hussar said I can influence someone who is enchanted. I should try it on Trophy. He's just left here. <laughs> it's Rocker. Can you hear me, Trophy? Here is something I'd like you to do. Drink. Dr drink less. Oh, weak, weak. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So your humanity level and nihilism will unlock different choices. So because we have humanity five, we can tell him to drink less. If we have nihilism 10, we can say start stealing. If we have nihilism 15, we can tell him to drink even more. This is giving me like... Um, I never played it, but like that the Star Wars um, role-playing game, I can't recall, the only one on the classic Xbox, I never played them, but it gives me that kind of vibe. Drink less. You will start pacing your drinking. Alright. Away! Knights of the Old Republic, yes. Thank you, Brad, yeah. <laughs> What was that? Oh, I bet Protif or Pretif? Pro I don't know his name. He's probably dead, isn't he? He's been turned Looks into like somebody's lunchable. <laughs> oh, he's so dead. <laughs> I don't understand. How could this even happen? It's Petya's doll, Matilda. This is so unsettling. What is this? Uncover the body. My God. Relationship map has been updated. He's dead. 
He's dead, Jim. He's deader than a can of tuna. What? What the hell happened here? It's all Victoria's fault. I told her he's almost empty, but she wouldn't listen. What do you want from me? I was starving, and you two barely left me anything. Doesn't matter now. We drained a man. Not anywhere, but at the Countess's manor. Someone is going to fry for this, and as sure as hell won't be me. Are you mad? No one is going to be executed for this. He's just a human. He <laughs> became a human juice box. It couldn't be helped. That's tragic, of course, but accidents happen, don't they? Easy for you to say. You're not the one who will have to explain this to Elisa and the Countess. Come with me, my dear. This is not your mess to sort out. Hey, Taco. Yeah, this, this is just a demo, but it's kind of great. It's got these, like, big RPG elements that I didn't expect. Um, I'll just briefly go over it. Like, we've got this, like, good... We've got good and bad, like, I can't remember what it's called. Like, nihilism is this one. I don't remember what this is. And depending on high, how high they are, will unlock different choices in dialogue. You've also got levels of stats down here, music, arts, literature, writing, science, logic, history and politics, um, which you can spend stats in to level up. Uh, there seems to be like quests and stuff like it's it's got some actual RPG elements. It's kind of dope. And the fact that it's fully voiced as well is actually super awesome because that can't be expensive. And yet it would make or break a game like this for me. Those morons. I knew I couldn't leave them alone with him. I just can't seem to make sense of it. I talked with Petya not even an hour ago. I'm so sorry. He didn't need to die today. But tomorrow? What happens now? Frying someone? What? Will they be executed? What happens what now? What happens now? Well, the Countess won't like this one bit. I can tell you that much. Is she... Sympathetic to humans? Um, I wouldn't say that. However, she doesn't like murders being linked up to her property. She will find her way out of this, no doubt. But those three in the ballroom? We'll have to see. Frying the someone. Room, they said someone will be fried. What does that mean? I don't know if you've heard this yet. But we can't be in the sun. It destroys us. I did read about that in the folk tales. The stories are true. Sometimes it's used as a form of capital punishment for our kind. What do you think will happen to those three outside? Murdering a human, sadly, isn't a big crime in our community. I don't think it will come to that. If I had my guess, I'd say they will get their fangs dulled for troubling the Countess. They will grow back after a month or two, but before then, they will have to feed solely on Cabernet. And it isn't cheap. What if they can't afford it? They will just have to find a way. Some take loans. Some steal. Without blood, we are like humans without water. Except... You die in the sunlight. <laughs> For all the powers that a vampire gets, like... If we're talking like your average mid-level vampire, like not Alucard or Dracula level, right? We're talking like an average mid-level vampire, right? For all the power that you get, you have some pretty big weaknesses. Arbin? Yes? Do you know what will happen to me now? I don't even know who I am anymore. What do I do? Where do I live? I understand it's not an easy day. We all went through this at some point. All the answers will come at the right time. For now, you just need to wait it out till someone sends for you. I must admit, I feel quite restless. Listen, not many of us might say this to you, so I want to do it. Being one of us doesn't just mean hurting people for your own benefit. It doesn't have to be. But it can be. To me, it means that I have an eternity to become better, learn from my mistakes, absorb the knowledge about the world. I suppose that's one way to look at it. You know, the Countess has a wonderful library over here. Why don't you grab a book and use this time to learn something new? 
Perfection comes in little steps. It means a lot. Relationship 55. So because we have a relationship that is already like 55 points with Arban, we, we can do this as well. Thank you for all your help and kindness, Arban. It feels really good to have a friend around here. I know it can't be easy for you right now in all this madness. It's hard to adjust. I learned that the hard way. Trust me. Here, I want you to have this. Small vial with blood sustains you for a day. Oh, that's this nice. This should give you a little boost when you need it. Clear your head. It's not going to last long, but it will give you a little peace of mind for the time being. I should go now, my dear. You know where to find me. No, I don't. Next time, a drink at my bar is on me. I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> can read some books. Ah, so these will increase various stats as well. Ooh, and it affects the time. We can read Charles Darwin. Work of scientific literature is considered to be the foundation of evolutionary biology. Introduced scientific theory of populations evolve over the course of generations through a process of natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> Camilla a gothic novella by Irish author Sheridan Le Fanu and one of the early works of vampire fiction predating Bram Stoker's Dracula by 26 years wow I'm gonna say let's have a look at our stats so it's zero in arts and music five in literature 10 in science and logic 15 in history and politics let's boost hmm feel like let's get literature and writing up to 10 or maybe science yeah yeah let's get literature yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um was it this one literature and poetry yeah sessions to finish yeah that's the one you'll think me cruel very selfish but love is always selfish the more ardent the more selfish. Oh, we can actually read them all if we choose, but it will like change the time. Oh no, we can't. We can't read the rest. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to do. Oh! I should see what all this ruckus is about. Oh. Consequences. You'll make choices in Cabernet. Some of little and some of big consequences. You will not always know which one is which. Some of those consequences will be marked on the screen by this symbol. Ooh. Oh, look, the blood trail. Okay, let's have a look around. I heard noise. What happened? Idiots being punished for their own stupidity. Are they going to die? I was going to rip them apart, but I actually thought about something you said earlier. V, thank you. Really? What was it? The potential of eternal life is more important than immortal humans. Probably not wise to face the vampiric court for a human. Still... Sorry about Petya. What an eventful night. How's it going for you? <laughs> that was some night, wasn't it? You'll be surprised by how quickly you get used to all this nonsense. You must be curious about what happens to you now. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. The way it works is that you get assigned to the one who turned you for the apprenticeship. I believe you are the doctor's disciple. I don't really remember much before I woke up. The doctor? He was a traveling doctor that came to the city, wasn't he? He was a vampire? He certainly was. It will all come back eventually. Don't worry about it now. Countess has a coachman, Trofim. He will take you to the doctor's place in town. He is rough around the edges, but you can learn a lot from him. May I speak with the Countess herself? <laughs> You need to be a little more important for that to happen. Trust me, she'll send for you soon. She has errands for us all. You will be no exception. Whatever she needs, understood. 
I don't owe her anything. Understood. Whatever she needs, understood. I understand. <laughs> Good girl. You should go. Trophim will be waiting for you, and the sun is not getting any lower. I've unlocked the door by the balcony. It'll lead you to the stairs and outside. <laughs> I want to investigate the blood. Oh. They must have taken Petya's body away. Lord only knows what they'll do to it. Turn it into an umbrella. Maybe you're a vampire V. It wasn't maybe it wasn't bad chicken. You just can't digest hey, food. Hey, Lisa. Can't digest yes? food anymore. Never mind. Insist. Relationship 55. What is it? You've only turned recently. When was the last time you watched the sunrise? It must have been a couple weeks ago. I was studying late for my exams. What did it feel like? Be sincere or cynical. Let's be sincere. Well, I was worried about the day to come and when a ray of sun fell on my face, I don't know. I felt warm, hopeful. Why do you ask? No reason. It's just been a while since I've seen one. You will hear from the Countess soon. I'm sure I will. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you. Could you please take this ugly doll with you? I can't keep looking into its dead eyes. Does it remind you of Petya? Just take it with you, please. I will. All right. I will. Thanks. I'll uh, see you around. I like her. I like her. Hi, Batsu. Hi, I villain. I swear it just blinked. Did it? Favorite creation of deceased Petya. <laughs> All right. You gained humanity. I've got like double the humanity of the nihilism. Oh, that's the end of the demo, guys. Yo, I actually quite like that. Um, I really like the RPG elements of the game quite a lot. The relationship building, the uh, different choices, you know, where like things will matter, uh, leveling up your stats so you understand different things. Like that was that was actually really cool. It was it was really good. If you want to check it out, you can do so. You can wishlist it on Steam right now. I'm not paid. I'm not sponsored. There is a limited time demo available. Uh, wishlisting the games on Steam always helps. It raises the awareness of the game to others. Um, and uh, there's other options that you could do. You could be more nihilistic in your playthrough. You could take the money that I didn't take and do other things like that. So, yeah.